Joyce Beatty is chair of the Congressional Black Caucus and has been front and center in the debate over race relations. Beatty recently spoke with Washington Bureau reporter Taylor Papalars about how she feels President Biden is handling race relations so far and what work still needs to be done. Columbus area Democrat Joyce Beatty led the Congressional Black Caucus to the Oval Office last month, meeting with President Joe Biden and Vice President Kamala Harris. It was a meeting where we went in and unfolded our agenda that dealt with everything from policing reform that dealt with COVID-19 and the vaccination to uh, voting rights and many of the other injustices. Beatty has had her plate full since becoming chair of the influential caucus in December. She traveled to Minneapolis to meet with George Floyd's family before Derek Chauvin was found guilty of his murder and then responded to the police killing Micaiah Bryant back in her own district the next day. Here in Washington, Beatty is trying to get the George Floyd Justice in Policing Act passed by the U.S. Senate after House Democrats passed it a second time. We are in constant dialogue with our senators working on how we look at this bill, if there's needed uh, negotiations to take place. Beatty has also been leading a campaign to to get black Americans vaccinated for COVID-19. And she is pleased with how Biden has approached helping minorities get through the pandemic and his efforts to stop police violence. But she told me more work has to be done. As we stand now, we are very supportive. It does not mean that we will be without challenge or disagreement, but I can tell you we were pleased with our first meeting. When I asked what she considers Biden's most concrete accomplishment so far when it comes to race relations, Beatty listed picking Kamala Harris as vice president, his diverse cabinet, and his coronavirus response. She said so far she feels her voice is being heard by the president. I would say I give him a check mark of moving the needle in a positive direction because actions speak louder than just words. The shooting death of Cleveland's Tamir Rice could prove to be a sticking point, though. Beatty has asked the Justice Department to reopen its civil rights investigation into the 2014 case, but the Biden administration has not yet said if it agrees. In Washington, Taylor Popolars, Spectrum News. It's now 541.